Hello and welcome to God's plan for redemption. Today we're going to actually speak about the word redemption. First thing I've done, of course, was look in Webster's Dictionary. What is the definition for redemption? Redemption. Act of redeeming or state of being redeemed. Ransom. Deliverance. Reclamation. Salvation. Deliverance from what is regarded as evil. In Christianity, deliverance from the bondage and consequences of sin. Jesus Christ, the incarnate one, may properly be spoken of as the Redeemer. He has done for man what man could not do for himself by giving his life as a ransom for many. Matthew 20, 28. Even as the Son of Man came, not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for men. He has released those who obey him from the guilt and power of sin. Titus 2.14 Who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity, and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Those who were formerly slaves have been purchased by the blood of Christ Jesus and are now sons of God in the divine household. Galatians 4.4 4. But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth His Son, made of a woman, made under the law. Verse 5. To redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. Now, the New Testament doctrine of redemption draws its meaning from a parallel from the marketplace, that marketplace concept of to buy back, to tire loose, to ransom. And let me give you a few examples the word gives us. To buy out as the purchase of a slave for freedom. Galatians 3.13 Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Verse 14. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Praise the Lord. Another example, of course, is deliverance. Hebrews 9.12 Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Another example is a releasing from bondage on payment of a ransom. Romans 3, 24. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Grace is being that unmerited favor and love of God to mankind. Another example, restoration of all creation from the curse. Romans 8, 23. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves, grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption, to wit, the redemption of our body. Redemption contains both the idea of deliverance and the price and the ransom of that deliverance. Born again from the old enslavement of the devil and sin and released to a new freedom. Our new freedom is always residing in Christ Jesus. We are redeemed from sin to live a new life in Christ. And that's what it's all about, having a relationship with the Father. Romans 6, 4. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Christ is the redemptive price. His atoning sacrifice, our ransom. Redemption from the law, from the penalty of the law, from sin, from Satan, and from all evil. Redemption to a new freedom from sin, 
to a new relationship to God and a new life in Christ Jesus. The concept being forgiveness restored to favor with God with a promise of final uh, a final deliverance at the coming of the Lord. Do you have that hope? You need to ask yourself and answer that question. Call upon the name of the Lord and be saved. Receive your salvation. His return is soon. Join me next time. We're going to speak about identifications.